Coming up tonight on YCU. Slippery road conditions cause tractor trailer trucks to slide off the roads in Vermont. Is wind power damaging Vermont mountains or providing renewable energy to the state? Find out more as the Senate debates this issue this week. And we'll hear from New London and Newberry Representative Karen Ebel. She'll tell us what she does on the Public Works and Highway Committee. With more new sports and weather, stay tuned. It's time for YCU, your local view. Now, your daily digest of the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region and central Vermont. News, sports, weather, public affairs, and all that's happening in our area. The news on YCU, your local view. Welcome and thank you for joining me, David Carmichael, in tonight's YCU program. A tractor-trailer truck accident caused traffic backups on Interstate 91 in Springfield. It happened by exit 7 northbound. Police say the truck was headed north when the driver lost control and hit a guardrail on the median side of the road. The truck then crossed both of the northbound lanes, went off the road, and struck an embankment, causing the truck to roll over on its side. The driver was not injured, but the fire department had to use the jaws of life to extract the driver from the truck. The highway was reduced to one lane as crews worked to right the truck. The road has since reopened. Vermont State Police say that Route 9 in Brattleboro has reopened after a jackknife tractor trailer was removed from the road. The truck both blocked the east and westbound lanes of the road Tuesday morning and there were no readily available alternative routes around the accident scene. Police say a heavy-duty wrecker cleared the truck and the road was shortly reopened before noon. A dispatcher said it was snowing heavily at the time of the accident. Vermont State Police urge all tractor-trailer unit drivers not to use Route 9 from Brattleboro to Bennington due to road conditions. Drivers were encouraged to take alternative routes, including Interstate 91 to Interstate 90 in Mass. Vermont State Police urged all drivers to use extreme caution while navigating the snowy road conditions across the state. As the snow piles up, the budget starts to dwindle, and as far as the state funds go, they have already gone $6 million over budget. Each storm cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and the longer the snow falls, the worse it gets. At this point, the New Hampshire Department of Transportation are anticipating to spend $45 million in snow removal when they had only planned for $39 million, according to Bill Boynton from the New Hampshire Department of Transportation. Last year, the state only spent $32 million. New Hampshire Attorney General Michael Delaney says he will not comment on his future plans while he's still leading the Justice Department. Delaney sent Governor Maggie Hassan a letter yesterday saying his plans to resign and return to private practice once his successor is in place. The New Hampshire House is set to vote today on whether to block the state from expanding Medicaid under the federal health care law. House Speaker William O'Brien says expanding Medicaid is unaffordable and unnecessary, while Governor Maggie Hassan supports the expansion. The New Hampshire House will also vote today on whether to hike the cigarette tax to $1.88 a pack to help pay for the spending in Governor Maggie Hassan's budget. The tax rate is currently $1.68 per pack of cigarettes. President Barack Obama has signed a disaster declaration ordering federal aid to supplement state and local recovery efforts in areas affected by the February 8th through the 10th storm that dropped more than 30 inches of snow in parts of New Hampshire. Governor Maggie Hassan says the statewide cost was estimated to be nearly $5 million. The Vermont State Senate is scheduled to debate a measure that one side aims to strengthen reviews of ridgetop wind power projects and the other side says would bring development of renewable energy in the state to a halt. Senate Bill 30 is being pushed by critics of wind power projects that they say have been damaging Vermont's mountaintops without significantly reducing the state's greenhouse gas emissions. The McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center is accepting applications for its annual Alex Higgins Memorial Space Camp Scholarship. The Discovery Center selects three New Hampshire students between the ages of 9 and 18 to participate in simulated astronaut training at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Applicants must be New Hampshire residents. The scholarship covers the full cost of tuition, room and board. Transportation to Huntsville, Alabama is not included. The application can be downloaded from the site starhop.com and the deadline is March 31st. After the break, Katherine Hogan from the VNA of Vermont, New Hampshire tells us how they can care for you or your loved ones. The YCU News continues in a moment. 